I invite you as you wish, as you are comfortable and as you're able, you can go ahead and uh, lie down or relax, recline where you are, um, just so that you're really in an receptive state. We're going to be um, hearing words from Genesis. And um, before we get there, just a couple of correspondences uh, to keep Keep in mind as you as you hear the word. The tree of knowledge um, represents spiritual thinking that is based on our human senses and intelligence. So there are things that we figure out for ourselves instead of getting from the Lord. Um, and the other correspondence is serpents which are sensory principles and our affections for the objects and delights of the world. So keeping those in mind, um, as we hear from Genesis, um, I invite you to engage in a reflection of those things, maybe that tension within you uh, between our external, natural, physical world and our internal, spiritual world and where are where are the areas that you would like to soften maybe the areas that are keeping you from connecting with the lord keeping you from connecting with others um, in a spirit of love um, and just acknowledging those bringing them to mind you know because what we don't see or can't or don't acknowledge, we you know we can't work on. Okay, so this is to meant to be a, a, a gentle, a gentle process, rem remembering that the Lord is always with us, and that the Lord never judges and always forgives. And our work is to just open ourselves up as much as possible to that divine love. <laughs> Settling in now, getting comfortable. And I invite you to take a couple of deep cleansing breaths. Breathing in, breathing out. And as you exhale, releasing any stress or tension that is ready to go. hearts and minds connecting in with God, allowing that influx to flow as freely as possible today. As we hear from Genesis chapter 2, verses 4 to 9, verses 15 to 18, 21 to 22, and verse 3, 1 to 7. had yet appeared on the earth, and no plant had yet sprung up. For the Lord God had not sent rain on the earth, and there was no one to work the ground. But streams came up from the earth and watered the whole surface of the ground. of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and the man became a living being.
Now the Lord God God had planted a garden in the man he had formed. It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. So the Lord God caused the man to fall into a deep sleep. And while he was sleeping, he took one of the man's ribs and then closed up the place with flesh. Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib he had taken out of the man, and he brought her to the man. Adam and his wife were both naked, and they felt no shame. God say you shall not eat from any tree in the garden? The woman said to the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees in the garden. But God said, You shall not eat of the fruit of the tree that is in the middle of the garden, nor shall you touch it, or you shall die. said to the woman, You will not die, for God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. So when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was a delight to the eyes, and that the tree was to be desired to make one wise. She took of its fruit and ate, and she also gave some to her husband who was with her, and he ate. Then the eyes of both were opened, and they knew that they were naked. So they sewed fig leaves together and made coverings for themselves.
This is the word of God. I invite everyone now to return, coming out of meditation, connecting back in with the here, with the now, body, spirit, mind, all united. And may the Lord add his blessing to our hearing and experience of his holy word.